Wild stuff, huh? Hi. Yeah, sit down. I can't believe what I'm reading. Were you here when the actual shooting happened? Unfortunately. Oh, I just can't believe how good this place looks this morning. It was a crime scene last night. The valley and obviously has themselves a hell of a cleaning staff. And I just met Palmer Cortland. Talk about whim of fate. Well, you'd just be happy that you turned dinner. Now, tell me something. Do the police have any leads? No, None. not yet. And if they do, they're, they're keeping quiet about it. Crazy. So they're everywhere, huh? And I thought that Pine Valley was such a nice, quiet town. It is. Most of the time. Stuff happens. Yeah, Landview, too. You know what? I think I've reached my quota of heroin experiences for this year, anyway. Yeah, that's right. I seem to remember reading someplace oh. about some wacko no, 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 no. No, let's not even go there, all right? Tell me about your mother. How is she doing? Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. Opal's pretty shaken up. As a matter of fact, you can help me out with this one. What I want to know is... After all of the crud he's put her through, and I'm talking about the world's most bitter divorce, how could she humanly have feelings for Palmer? I mean, come on. They have a child together. They loved each other once. You know, it's very common for people to still have those kinds of feelings. I mean, look at you and Dixie. You still cared about each other when you were apart. I know you did. Yeah, more than we realized. So, is that what had you upset last night? No, no. No, no, you're not going to turn my words against me now. Why not? You're the expert. I am not nursing a broken heart. I don't care what you think. Uh -huh. Okay, so I was a little disappointed that the man I saw wasn't Daniel, but I have no illusions of love, especially the second time around. Good, because the third time's a charm. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll remember you said that. Tad... I don't want to get back with my ex-husband. I don't. Well, if I'm going to work for you, you mind me asking what it is you do want? Well, that is really the million-dollar question, and I'm afraid I don't have a million-dollar answer. I'll settle for a half a million-dollar answer. I already gave it the office. Thank you. You know, in your line of work, I think they call this being evasive. In my former line of work, they call it stalling, being cute. Oh, I'm not cute. I've never oh, been Oh, yes, cute. you are. You're being no, cute, and you're doing it again. I just don't want to talk about it, honey, okay? Well, that's too bad, because I know an excellent relationship therapist who extols the value of sharing your feelings. No, no one ever really listens to a relationship expert. You know that. Oh, you'd be surprised. If you change your mind, you know you can trust me. I know that. And I will tell you. When the time is right, okay? Until then, I just... Do as I say, not as I do. Right. Oh. I'm not very good with change, you know that. And most of us can't become suddenly different like Adam Chandler, that's for sure. Adam Chandler? What has that weasel got to do with anything? Well, I mean, he is, I think, the perfect example of the power of change and oh, redemption, even. Honey, yes, come he on. Is. Don't canonize the guy just yet. I mean, forgive me, I know he's, like, stunning everybody around here with, you know, acting like the prodigal son and all, but as far as I'm concerned, that's all it is. Acting. Thanks. So you're telling me that he actually had Dixie committed? Yes. Oh, my God. I'm not making this up. I'm the guy that broke in and got her out. Adam Chandler is famous for his ruthlessness. And unfortunately, it's his family that ends up paying for it. I mean, I told you all about how he tried to abscond with Junior, you know, send him off some prep school this fall right. without Dixie's consent. So he was really trying to run away with him no, no, then. I just wanted to get him out of town because he knew there was no way that Dixie or I would ever agree to having him, you know, raised away from home. But why would he want to do that? I mean, you have a wonderful family. The kids seem well-adjusted and happy and... What? Is this thing on? You're missing the point, honey. That's the reason why. That's what was driving him crazy. He wanted to get me out of his son's life, no matter what the cost, even if Junior was the one that had to pay for it. I mean... It scared the kid so badly he had to run away from home, so, so he wouldn't go. I mean, we got him back the next day, sure, but not before it scared the hell out of everybody. Yeah, I bet it did. How could it not? I wanted to kill Adam. 
I went to him and I told him I'd never allow him to hurt Junior like that again. So what does he do? He dreams up this little WRCW scam. Payback for what he calls stealing his son. This is classic megalomaniac. You know, you have deep-seated insecurities, abandonment issues, all of it. The man's the Antichrist. What I don't understand is how. How does he keep getting away with it? Because Adam Chandler is a man with lots of money and thousands of faces, each more convincing than the last. So excuse me if I find this little epiphany suspect. You know, it's going to take a lot more than a pie in the face to turn Adam around. But you know what, Ted? Isn't it possible, just possible, that when your son ran away, that he had, it was some catalyst for him? That maybe he really did have a change of heart? It's possible. Let's see. No. <laughs> I've known the man for 20 years, okay? Adam Chandler doesn't need a change of heart. He needs a transplant. Excuse me, doctor. It hurts when I do this. Call security, please. Now, what, what, stop, stop. I work here, what are you doing? I'm here to torture you. You get too much time on your hands, you know that? Until I get my job back, that's all I've got on my hands. I've been loosed on an unsuspecting world. <sighs> I'm gonna call the zoo. Actually, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. I, I have some very good news. Colby, I will be escorting to dinner tonight. One Colby Martin. Excellent. And one Eliza Colby. Hey, the more the merrier. You know what I'm thinking of inviting my friend, Ray Cummings? I don't know any friend named God, you dense the relationship guru. Oh, I told you all about it. That's good. You need that. Ha, 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 ha. So what, is that it? That's, that's, well, notice I didn't say Liza Colby Chandler. So? She's getting divorced. She's filing for divorce. Get out! Get out! You get out! <laughs> this is huge! This is great! I know this is, it is. I gotta call Dixie. Tell her to break open a case of champagne. I don't know how to slow down. So we'll, we'll just, just calm yourself. Jeez! We're gonna wait till later. Just okay. I tell you what. Stuff. Right now, why don't, why don't I got nothing to do? Let me buy you a cup of coffee. Okay. Come on. That sounds good. But I want to drop into Jillian's room first. See how she's doing. You want to come? Yeah. Spread the good news.